everyone, my name is Aoife Cochran. I am doing a project on heart attack for Central College Limerick. A heart attack occurs when the blood supply to part of the heart is blocked, causing the cells of the heart to die. The blockage happens in the coronary artery. Heart attack is one of the biggest killers in Ireland, accounting for 33% of all deaths in Ireland this year. You are more likely to have a heart attack if you smoke or take drugs, eat in fatty food, do no exercise and have a stressful life. The signs and symptoms of a heart attack are a sudden chest pain, which may radiate to both arms okay, or, jaw, um, or jaw, extreme gasping for air, so it's like, <sighs> this is called air hunger, and patients feel pe pressure on the chest, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, anxiety, collapsing without warning, very pale skin and blueness in the lips, a rapid or weak or irregular pulse and sweating. Um, if you suspect a heart attack, call 999 or 112. Remain calm and reassure the patient. Make the patient comfortable. Put a cushion under the knees and behind the head so they are in a half sitting position. This will ease the pain on the heart. If the patient has angina medication, allow them to take it. Keep the patient warm. Ask the patient are they allergic to aspirin. If not, give them 200 milligrams of aspirin to them. And this is the aspirin here. And monitor and record the vital signs. Avoid undue stress by staying calm. Stay with them until the ambulance arrives. Before giving the aspirin, you have to ask certain questions like, are you allergic to aspirin? Are you over 16 years old? Um, do you have an active stomach ulcer? Do you have any bleeding disorder? Are you pregnant? And if they say no to it, you could get 200 milligrams of aspirin. But before doing it, just check. And make sure it's in date and it's not opened. And tell them all the side effects as well. Like it could cause bleeding or stomach pains. And try giving aspirin within the hour of the heart attack. This is called the golden hour. The aspirin can be chewed or dissolved in water, but I will advise to dissolve in water as it acts quicker, so it works quicker. Record the time the aspirin was taken and continue to monitor the patient until the ambulance arrive. Be sure the patient and monitor the breathing as well. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you learned a lot and yeah, thank you. <laughs>